Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to be looking at a regular expression or regular expressions. Regular expressions in Python allow us to do certain things, um, matching patterns, matching data types. They can do a lot of things, but today what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at um, RE, so import RE, regular expressions, to actually um, match certain data types. So let me give you an example here. Um, So I've asked um, uh, pi, uh, the, my user to enter their name. What I want the user to do is I want them only to enter their name in lowercase, say for example. So what I can do is I can use re.match to make sure to match the pattern. So I would say re.match, I only want lowercase letters, so A, A, Z, like that in lowercase and I want Python to look at name. Okay, so basically this here will create sort of like a true or false, like have they passed this, like have they just entered their name A to Z in lowercase. We can use more than just A to Z in lowercase, I'm gonna show you about the other stuff we can do in just a second. So now I'm just gonna do use a quick if statement. So if correct, so I'm just referencing this variable here because um, you would sort of think it, you'd have to say if correct equals true or something like that, but it kind of validates the true or false anyway. So we're just kind of saying if true, print um, all good. And then for anything else they enter, we just want to print um, only lowercase, please. So let's have a look at this. Enter your name. Okay, so if I enter my name with a uh, uppercase at the beginning, it says only lowercase. If I run this again, enter my name using only lowercase, it says all good. So my um, RE match has matched my name here to the uh, input, type, input type that I specified, so only lowercase eight, uh, letters basically, and then it's printed out an if and an else statement. So. How does this help us? Well, when you're creating web forms and things like that, you may need um, items to be put in in a very specific um, way. So for example, um, area codes, so like the um, telephone number you would dial before you dialed a landline number, um, are made up of five digits. There's no letters in there. The user can only enter five digits. So in order to do this, um, sorry, uh, equals input, um, enter your area code and what I want to happen is correct equals re.match and now this time I'm just going to use um, I, I want this exactly the same every time so I want 0 to 9 0 to 9 to 9 to 9 to 9 so I've just said I want five, the, the first thing that should be entered is five numbers, all zero to nine. That's the only thing that should be entered when the user um, enters something in for area code. Then I can just do exactly the same as again. So if correct, so if that evaluates to correct, I just print again, like something like fine. But if they enter in anything else, I print incorrect. So let's see how this would work then. So, so enter your area code. If I just use numbers, so 0011, and I use five numbers, because I've specified it needs to be five numbers, and press enter, it says fine there. Um, if I run this again, and I do it with a letter and a number, or something like that, it says incorrect. And even if I use an incorrect amount of numbers, it also says incorrect. So what RE match is doing is it's saying you need to enter in five numbers in order for this to evaluate as true. 
So the last part of the regular expressions we're going to be looking at is looking at a combination of uppercase, lowercase and meeting specific criteria. So for example, if you had an email address and you wanted to use to input an email, you would obviously email equals input, enter your email. And then we are going to use re.match again to make sure it meets specific criteria. So here when they enter their email, let's just make sure they enter it as blank at blank.com. So they can enter in um, uppercase or lowercase, all numbers, followed by an at sign, followed by as many uppercase, lowercase numbers as they want, followed by .com, as long as they do that. So how do you do that? So just like we did before, we need to make sure we're using um, lowercase, a to Z, and then uppercase A to Z, and then 0 to 9 as well. Now, what this is going to do is this is going to say, okay, you can enter in one num one letter, which is uppercase, or one letter, which is lowercase, or one number. If you add a plus sign to the back of it, or the end of it here, that means you can enter in as many um, uppercase, lowercase, or numbers as you want as long as it's then, and as soon as it's followed by an at sign, uh, we know we're at the next bit. So we do it followed by one at sign, so there's no plus at the end of this at sign. And then we do the same again, a to z, uppercase a to z, and then zero to nine. Ending this with a plus means that I can enter in as many lowercase, uppercase, or numbers again and then I just end it with .com. So they have to enter in .com themselves. But I only want one.com. So I just put one.com at the end there. Then I tell uh, Python where to look. I want them to look in the email variable that we've got here. And then we just use a quick if statement to make sure that's actually working. So if correct. So if that variable um, evaluates to being true, I want to print uh, yes. Uh, for everything else, print no. So if I just run this now, uh, let's just get rid of that and start again, start fresh, run that again. Okay, so enter your username. What should happen is I should be allowed to enter in my name at my name again dot com. So I've used lowercase uppercase followed by an at lowercase uppercase followed by a dot com I press enter it says yes which is exactly what we want so as long as I follow the structure that I put out so I can enter in whatever I want numbers as well no symbols as long as it's an at and then again then dot com it's going to say yes that's fine as soon as I go away from that formula so if I just entered in Lee dot com Press enter, it's going to say no because I didn't follow the formula, which is as many uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers as I want, at as many uppercase and lowercase letters and numbers as I want, um, and then followed by dot com at the end. Okay, so that is everything we're going to do for regular expressions. I hope you found that interesting and useful, and if you need anything else on that, just let me know. Thank you.